am back again. I am doing something quite big right now. Well, it's not big, like at the end of the day, this is completely normal. It's big, it's a big thing for me, but in reality, it's actually very normal. I'm really facing a big fear here, and that is pastry. I actually didn't have my dinner that long ago. I'm still gonna do this because I'm actually feeling like quite hungry today. Like, you know when you just have them days where you just feel like you could keep on eating and eating? I'm gonna honor that now because my body deserves this. And if you feel this way as well, then your body deserves it too. I am having a croissant. I'm gonna slice it in half. I'm gonna add Greek yogurt and fruit as well. Smells so good. <laughs> and there we go. So I'm gonna put it into the oven just for a couple of minutes to make it all warm. <laughs> it smells amazing. I feel like it's gonna be really messy. Wow. That is so nice. Yes, I might be terrified. And yes, my anorexia might be thinking, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Now you're gonna have to have this later and you can't have that now. The only way to overcome that is by actually doing. You can do all of the therapy. You can almost think yourself into recovery and think that you're doing good and think that you're doing the right thing and have therapy. But if you're not actually putting what you're saying or learning into practice then honestly nothing will change so you have to actually do these things and this is uncomfortable but i know that what's going to come from this is me rewiring and regaining that control in my brain again and also it's going to lead me to being able to do what i want with my life and being able to go out and have a croissant and a coffee and so much more the last bit <laughs> nothing bad happened and my body is just going to be thankful and happy because as well i've been craving pastry pano chocolate croissants i've actually allowed myself to have it now because that's fine and that's okay and that's what that's what we should be doing. I'm just sitting here reflecting on my little croissant moment and I just wanted to say my brain is convincing me now, oh my god, like tomorrow you're gonna wake up and your body's gonna have changed and la 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 la. <laughs> At the end of the day, if I wake up tomorrow and I have gained weight and my body has changed, then that is happening for a reason. My body is not gonna do that for the sake of it. It's a case of restoring what should never have been lost and your body is just getting all of that nutrients. And I don't know if anybody else feels this, but sometimes when, sometimes, <laughs> someone was outside. Sometimes when I eat my food, I can almost feel like my body absorbing and just like, I don't know, I can't explain. It feels like my body is just like, like just zapping everything in it's quite strange and today is one of them days like i've just had that cross on and i feel insanely hungry today and i think some days are like that i don't know if that's what i mean i guess that's kind of like extreme hunger and i've never really had extreme hunger but i feel like today is potentially one of them days i'm gonna make sure that i honor that now for the rest of the day but anyway i just wanted to say that um yeah, I don't want to talk too much. <laughs> it is a new day. I am going to go to Wagamama's this evening, so I thought I'd bring you along with me. I just wanted to show that it is completely okay to go and eat out, and it's not something that should be feared. You deserve to be able to go out and enjoy eating food and socialising and getting involved. So, let's go. <laughs> Hi 
everyone it is a new day i thought i would pick up the camera today because i am off work and i'm going to challenge some little things that i really want to face and one of them is going to be not having salad or veg with every single meal so for my dinner today i'm going to be having something a bit different and that doesn't include salad i'm going to make my lunch for today so I'm having some beans because I haven't had them for a while. I'm having an omelette as well with some bread. I think the reason why this is going to make me feel a bit anxious is because in reality every meal does not have to consist of fruit and veg. I got stuck in my ways and thinking that I have to have some kind of fruit or veg with my meals but in reality we don't have to. This is my lunch for today. I've got some toast. It's not really toasted that much. Don't, please don't judge. And beans and a two egg omelette. I do feel very anxious and that's because in my head I feel like this is not a dinner. This is not something you would have for lunch. And it does make me feel a bit, I don't know. Well, it makes my anorexia feel very annoyed and because it feels threatened but in reality, there's nothing wrong with having an omelette with beans and bread. But in my head, yeah, it doesn't feel great. But I just want to prove to myself and to other people that you don't have to have salad or you don't have to have like really healthy things for dinner. Because no food is good or bad. And yeah gonna go cold so I better eat <sighs> omelette with beans literally goes so well together I think this is the first time that I haven't had like fruit or veggies for my dinner for my lunch in ages and yeah, it just feels a bit wrong, but I know that it's not. That is all done. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say I feel annoyed, but instead of saying that I feel annoyed, I'm gonna say that my anorexia is annoyed. And I don't know why. It's because there was no kind of like color, no fruit, no veg, and that's something that I need to get over because, like I said, not every meal has to be with fruit and veg and I think that's what's making me feel so anxious. It was really nice and it doesn't matter that it was not something that I would typically have for dinner, lunch, sorry. So yeah, I just need to remind myself of that. I am feeling pretty full after that now. I really want something sweet and I just want to say that that's also okay. After you have something savoury, if you want to have something a little bit sweet, then that is completely okay. I'm going to honour that feeling because if I don't, then I will just be thinking about having something sweet and just deprive and restrict myself from having it. So that being said, I'm going to get something sweet. I've had them for a while now and just haven't had any of them. So they do need eating. Mm. It's good. Hi everyone, it is a new day again. It's Saturday today and I'm off work. So I have been looking at this bakery for so long and looking at all the products that they sell. They have some of the most amazing things. So I'm gonna go to the bakery this morning. The real Demi really wants to go and try them and I deserve to do this and your body deserves this too and if you are thinking about something that you really want to eat and you can't get it off your mind then that is your body giving you a sign that you should go and get that thing and you should eat it and you should enjoy it without guilt. Now that's not to say that you're going to do it and not feel guilt because you probably 99.9% .9 will, however the more that you do it, the easier it's going to rule out them strong 
thoughts that you have towards food. So without further ado, let's go and get myself some things from the bakery. <laughs> excited to try these do you know i was just driving home and i was thinking how nice it is that i've reached a point where i've just been and picked these up and yes i am like terrified of doing it and yes i'm gonna feel guilty and i'm gonna feel horrible but it just felt refreshing that i could actually just go and get these and not even really think about it too much if that makes sense like a year ago I would have just no that this would not be a thing but now it is a thing and that's and that's good and that's okay so I just want to show that actually yeah it might be a struggle but and you're gonna feel guilty but that's normal that's what it's all about it's about going through the emotions feeling the feelings and then eventually reaching a point where it won't matter because I know that it's possible and it's possible for you as well. I got three different things. I got, I best do it this way. This is an almond croissant and this one is a munchies cookie, I think. And this one is the old school cake. Um, yeah, so these look so good. I'm gonna start making myself some dinner for this evening. I've never actually made halloumi before, but anyway, I'm just going to chop some up now, um, ready to fry. So I've just chopped up the halloumi and I'm going to add some pepper. And then I'm going to spray some olive oil into the pan as well. I prepped this earlier, but this is just some couscous with salad. And the chicken is... I think the chicken is done now to be fair um yeah it should be done chicken is done and the halloumi is looking pretty done now this is dinner this evening so we've got halloumi chicken salad and couscous i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling a bit meh today <laughs> i'm gonna try some of the halloumi because i haven't tried it really for a while oh that's really nice actually Let's see if the chicken is okay. Mm. <laughs> That's really good, honestly. Marinating your chicken a couple of hours before is really good. So, I'm gonna enjoy this. And then I've got a really big <laughs> pudding for after. I'm like, I'm not even hungry now, so I'm finding this a bit difficult, but it's okay it's okay i'm not gonna lie i don't know how i fitted all of that in to be honest like i'm i really i feel like i'm getting really inside my head about what i've ate today and how big in my mind that portion was it really wasn't big but i'm having one of them days where i think as well having an eating disorder your eating disorder likes to blow things out of proportion something that's like so small and that's really not a big deal that doesn't need such a reaction people who suffer with eating disorders it's such a big deal and the problem is really big to them and that it's just important to think that that's the eating disorder brain and it likes to make things blown out of proportion and way more harmful than what it actually is. So I'm not going to let myself feel guilty and I'm going to make my dessert. I went to the bakery today to buy that and this is what recovery is all about. It's all about doing things that you don't necessarily want to do. Well, you want to do, but your eating disorder doesn't want you to do. So I'm gonna prep my dessert now. I'm so, <laughs> I'm honestly so full, but I'm just going with this mindset now of I'm gonna do what I really wanna do and I have to get myself out of this hole. And the only way out is through, so I'm just gonna go and dive in. I am gonna have the cake that I did show earlier. I did also, <sighs> this was hard. I went to the supermarket earlier and I got some custard. <laughs> I am, I'm fucking terrified. Like I am fucking terrified, but 
that cake is like the old school cake and traditionally it would go with custard so i thought it would be wrong of me to just eat the cake so i'm gonna go that extra step and just dive in and have some custard with it can i just say as well halloumi is so nice like why have i not been eating that until now see this is what recovery is all about it's actually like finding new foods and genuinely being excited about it and yeah i just yeah i look i just i don't know i was sitting there on the car park of tesco and i was just looking around and it's just crazy like how many people there actually is in the world like i was just sat there thinking wow like all of these people have their own individual lives and there was so much happening at any given moment like right now it's like six o'clock in the evening and there's just so much happening in the world and i'm just here worrying about eating custard and cake <laughs> anyway i'm gonna stop rambling so i've got my cake in here it's a hefty piece of cake i'm not gonna lie it did say shake before heated up the custard and i'm just gonna pour it over the top i think oh no oh my god i'm gonna Give it a taste now. Do you know what? I'm in recovery and... <laughs> it's literally not even a big deal, but it really is. Oh wow. This is a big challenge because custard in a can as well is... The ingredients terrify me and cake terrifies me. It's not gonna be easy. So yeah, I just want to say that if you are out there and you are challenging things every single day, then I'm so proud of you. I actually can't believe this is happening. Completely done. I would say if you like cake and custard, maybe go and try it because nothing bad happened. That is the end of the video. I just wanna say if you did watch all the way until the end, thank you so, so much, honestly. Like, it really means a lot. I actually have really enjoyed making this video. I know it's been hard. I think it's important to remember that it's, it's not gonna be easy and it's not supposed to be easy. So if it's hard, then you're doing something right and don't let the anorexia convince you otherwise. If you constantly keep taking two steps forward but then five steps backwards, you are never gonna get out of this. And I know it's incredibly hard, but you deserve nothing more than freedom and to be able to live your life and enjoy everything. Honestly, life is so precious and so amazing and so special and enough is enough like you don't deserve to waste any more time to your eating disorder genuinely and i'm saying this to myself as well it really helps for me to say it because i'm also saying it to myself as well as you i don't want to talk too much but i just want to say please don't let yourself become so unraveled and confused in all of the stuff that's on social media about food at the moment it's so detrimental especially if you are in recovery it's like an added pressure an added stress you open instagram you see this you see that don't eat this don't eat that it is overwhelming but i just want to say do what's right for your body and listen to your body because your body is not silly it is not stupid and like i said before i'll say again we all have different needs and what works for one might not work for another so anyway i hope that you're doing okay i'm sending so much love as always if you did enjoy watching don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to i will see you in the next video and i'm sending all my love you can do it and i'm proud of you bye